Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Daniel and this is the Jack Turner Meridian. Now, before I get into the review, full disclosure, uh, I did receive this watch for free from Jack Turner and I do have a affiliate code, uh, code down below. The owner of Jack Turner watches has to become a friend of mine and I do appreciate our friendship. Okay, so into the watch itself we go. Now I've spoken a lot, a lot lately it seems about the development of a brand and seeing the Jack Turner going from the quartz power watches into Swiss um, movement watches and now refining it down to this Meridian. It's really, really nice to see. And this watch actually changed my opinion on integrated style bracelets or uh, the practicality, <laughs> so to say, of an integrated style bracelet. But first, first of all, let's get into some specs and specifications. We, this watch is powered by a ETA 2824-2. We have a 40mm case, uh, uh, we have 44.5mm log to log, 8.5mm thickness, or should I say thinness, the log width is 23 millimeters, tapering down to 14 millimeters. That's a class we'll look at that soon. We have sapphire front and back, a tapisserie dial, and some C3 Swiss Superluminova. So let's get into that loom shot. And here's a loom shot of that Jack Turner Meridian. Now, this is one of the brightest glowing looms I've seen in a while, rivaling even the Van Banner that's known for its loom. So for this style of watch especially, or for micro brand in general, this is really, really good. Well done Jack Turner, well done indeed. So the detail work on this watch is actually very nice, from the gold logo at uh, 12 o'clock to a chapter ring. Seems like a lot of watches, and especially micro brands, skip the chapter ring. And I just think that looks a bit prettier especially when it aligns perfectly. That screwing cr crown is signed, it unscrews nicely. That ETA winds beautifully and it bites back in really good. The 23 millimeter, like I said, tapers down to 14 at that deployant clasp with a fold over. And let's get into that movement the ETA 2824 now I'm usually not a fan of um, see through case backs but when the movement is this pretty and when it's still under nine millimeters uh, thick then I think it's okay actually <laughs> and then I think it's very okay and now that the minute marker has gone to the uh, 11 o'clock marker see let's get it back there see how nicely it lines up. Oops, wrong way. See how nicely it lines up, becoming one, going all the way out until that chapter ring. And see the hour marker meeting the points of the hour marker, meeting the point of the indice. Really nice attention to detail there. Now, another thing that I really like about this uh, Jack Turner is how the dial is made, that tapisserie. Dial. Now, to be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of texture dials or heavily textured dials, but the way they've done this pattern in certain lights disappears, and then the watch comes alive, and then it disappears again. It's a really nice little effect when the light hits it right. It's just beautiful, and then back to being sleek sit and play like this all day, <laughs> all day long. All in all, it, it, the build quality is really good. The clarity on Jack Turner watches are always top. It's, it's always top. I don't know <laughs> who makes their uh, crystals, but they're always among the best. The supplied rubber strap is really nice. It's soft. Seems to be good quality. Um, but to be honest, I haven't worn it at all on the rubber strap, in part because I don't like rubber straps, <laughs> to be honest. And also because the way they constructed this watch is beyond my skill 
to remove the links you need to push have push pins on the outer link to remove that you will keep the inner link and it will stay with the watch like that so a cool sporty watch uh, look if you like rubber straps but a bit tricky and fiddly to swap doesn't bother me as i prefer it on the bracelet anyway but it's good to know now now i've been pressing this watch for five minutes straight almost any moans and niggles well as usual with this deployment clasp style uh, no micro adjust but very short links so won't be an issue getting a good fit on that watch and maybe a little bit of sharpness here and there a hair or two on my Greek wrists have, <laughs> have gone but it's actually very comfortable the inside is very smooth very smooth so apart from that deployment style clasp if you like this style of watch no other real moans it's a very well built watch actually let's put on wrist shall we roughly 17 centimeter wrist let's put it on this has actually become kind of my daily wear due to it being comfortable uh, reliant that movement um, is really really reliable good power reserve and this watch hugs the watch uh, the, key, the, the wrist nicely I try similar case watches and they oftentimes lay too flat on my wrist so this feel awkward but this one actually wears very very comfortable so very nice good light play on that bracelet comfortable with that super taper and like I said in the beginning this changed my mind I just always thought that integrated bracelet style watches were a bit more dress for dressy occasions special occasions so on but this has become my daily watch my go-to watch almost it's really good and that's about it guys the Jack Turner Meridian go check them out I think they only made 50 of these so go check them out link down below and that's it until next time please stay safe if you like my content subscribe and like until next time take care and bye bye